Hello, and welcome back to more Let's Play Psychonauts. Let's go ahead and continue here. Oops. I forgot. This is actually take two, because I screwed up. I need to load um, this one, I think. There we go. That looks right. The Nightmare. Brain tumbler experiment with crazy bunny thing and uh, thorns. Something tells me there's something weird going on here. Brainless chicken skulls. Meat. Yeah. What is it? There's an awful lot of meat in here. What the? It's like a bunny fly trap. Oop, there's a tag. Beepy. Uh, um. Sasha? What is it? Yeah. Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! <laughs> a diving helmet. What could it mean? Ah! Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Hey. He offered to teach us how to fight. Okay. I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? <sighs> Uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Crawler would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Crawler. Never in a million. I'm off. I'll be right <laughs> back after I talk with Agent Crawler. <laughs> yeah, that's what all these hollow stumps are. Yep. Secret passageways. <laughs> hey. Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Crawler? Or somewhere else? <laughs> yeah, it's a quick way to get around the camp. Hmm. Let's go to Ford's. Let's yeah. go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. We. Person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Fort Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales <gasps> magazine. Oh, I'm sure not. Well, we got a whole bunch of stuff we can ask him about, so... Let's do this. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. That's a good policy. What's titanium? 
Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Yes, it does. That explains all the crazy people. Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. You want to teach you advanced combat on your first day? <laughs> yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouthful of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old diving helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. P prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. <clears throat> Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast any way you want. Thanks. Hmm, mind blast? bullets. Oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big-eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. Mind bullets. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. <laughs> right, pretend. Well, let's see here. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a d dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. <laughs> and what does the equipment do? What does all do? this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. Yep, they will. However, I, I don't go. have any... Lots of work to do. Good luck, Oops. Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. <laughs> my head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so... I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Bacon. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't <laughs> help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. <laughs> Yes, bacon. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Oh, how do you get down there? Cobwebs are. You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The dust stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core. Also sold in the company store for a nominal fee. And it will kick out a bona fide side challenge market, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. <laughs> 
Well, I don't have any cores, so uh, we'll have to wait on burning stuff. Let's see here, I gotta get back up. Well, we're just about out of time. So as soon as I get up here. Um, we've got our pass, and when we get back, I will be, uh, we will go learn how to shoot mind bullets. Talk out.